because in both the groups because in both the groups there was a collective around uh, 50 to 60 ka number i was looking for sir actually there was sudden ch- time change na yes, that's yes, why yes. all uh, because i have here. to go out we yes. hey not an issue all right so uh, i want a quick introduction from the first four or five participants so that you know we can set the context and get an understanding of the participants who you are what your expectations are and then you we can kick start the session i just i don't want to start away i want to know you guys first and then we can start but we'll keep it very quick a uh, 10 15 second intro we can start with gorav 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 rao gorav ram rakhia yes good evening sir hello gorav hello my name is gorav i am from ahmedabad gujarat uh, i have completed my group 2 in jan attempt jan 21 and appeared for group 1 in this attempt december 21 uh my interest uh, my core subjects are taxation economics and accounting amazing amazing that's great uh, pranjal what about you sir i am from agra uttar pradesh i have given group 1 in january 21 and same i cleared it now i have given group 2 in december 21 now waiting for the result okay so ab dono na article ship chalu nahi ki abhi tak no nahi sir okay okay great uh, mas azizi what about you Hello sir my name is Mahesh Singh and I am from Jalgaon I am studying in Sydney College and I have given both the groups this attempt and I am trying to clear my both the groups since last two attempts okay okay that's fine oh ho jigar ha ah, jigar so jigar stays in my opposite building we are old neighbors so jigar a quick intro please you are on mute jigar i have given my first group in december 21 and i am going to appear for group 2 in uh, may 2020 uh, may 2022 okay great single group approach yeah or uh, mm-hmm. next year vivek taneja yes sir i have cleared my group 1 in july 2021 and appeared for group 2 in december waiting for the results दो शब्द कुछ बोलिए आप How was your exams? How was it? Sir, it was good. I recently in December 2021, I have given both groups, and this mm. is my first attempt. And I'm mm. looking for article ship in statutory mm. audit department. Okay, great. So when the rankers list come up, you guys have to search for Ishika Jain. The name will be there. That is my guarantee. Okay. Uh, next we have Pratik Badgujar. Yes, Pratik. Quick intro, please. You are on mute. Am I audible now? Yes. Okay. So my name is Pratik. I am from Mumbai. Uh, basically from Mulu, and uh, I have been a part of CA Vision from the mentorship program. And uh, right now, in December twenty one, I have given both groups and awaiting for the results. Thank Amazing. You. Amazing. All right. So that was a good. intro round we have a good participant strength as well of 27 all right so i'll do a quick poll a quick show of hands of how many of you guys want to pursue an article ship in statutory audit okay uh is there a way where we can see the total number of uh, people who raised hands aisa kuch hai so i am i am assuming all of them whoever has attended the call all of them want to pursue article ship in statutory audit now uh, how many of you guys want to pursue article ship in a big four 
Uh, so, 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 uh, so just one yes. doubt, can I, am I allowed to ask? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just wanted to know, besides statutory audit, internal audit, their direct tax and indirect tax, there were some other fields which were mentioned, which there is hardly any. Could you just throw some light on each of those topics because we don't know about it. Uh, so see, each of these fields are a different discussion in itself. So what we are planning to do is today, today session I have kept for statutory audit. So whichever common fields are there, other than statutory audit, as a separate session, we'll keep for each of these fields. Okay. 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 okay and that so works. This yeah. One more question, just one more question. In start audit also, I heard from my seniors that there are many other fields in start audit. For example, you deal in some particular industry only. In big ah, company. yes. Correct. Yeah, just, I, I'll touch upon it. I'll touch, it up. touch upon it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So, uh, before we start, what... Uh, so, uh, this is a question to the audience. What is statutory audit? What do you think? And why is it a very preferred field in articleship? What are, what do you guys think? Anyone? Can I come in, sir? Can I answer that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, start audit is almost there for all listed companies and even for unlisted companies, regardless of their turnovers. Unlike okay. internal audit, which is there for only certain type of companies with respect to the turnover limits. So this is there, which is applicable for all companies. As a result of it, there is more opportunity out there, more preference out there. That's the reason why people prefer statutory audit as compared. That's it. That's it. So uh, Vivek has rightly pointed out that it's the core thing done by C and no one can take away from him. That's uh, very right to a certain extent. That's right. Uh, anyone else? And why do you think that uh, you should pursue articleship in statutory audit only? And why not other fields? If uh, I want to understand your perception. Anyone? Because the right of statutory audit is only with the CA. Okay. Okay. All right. We can expose it to all type of companies. Mm, that's a good point uh, put in by Kashvi. All right. So, okay. Now let's begin with sir, also, what is... Yeah, yes, Prajesh. Yeah, yes, sir. I also feel that uh, start audit almost touches all kinds of fields uh, like you must know basics of taxation you must know taxation laws also to do start audit mm -hmm. same when you're checking gstb uh, when you're checking gst bills you should know something about gstb supply you, you have to mm -hmm. check supply invoices purchase mm -hmm. invoices so in that way i think it, it throws light on almost all the fields so you perfect. must be having basic knowledge about everything perfect uh, this yes, was the sorry. Yeah, this is the answer I was looking for, and this is the most accurate answer as much as possible. Very good, Prajesh. So, I'll I'll give you an overview of what statutory audit is, why it's important, why it's good to uh, you know do articleship in statutory audit. So, uh, I know you guys must have heard that audit pe ja hai, wo CA audit karta hai. He does audit, or every company is supposed to get a statutory audit done based on whatever you have uh, studied in the audit curriculum and appeared for exams. So I'll tell you uh, what happens in real life. Each and every company is supposed to get the statutory audit done. They are supposed to get their books of accounts audited. So uh, again, this is something I'm repeating from your uh, audit subject itself. An external party, the chartered accountant comes in, checks your books of accounts and expresses an opinion whether the financial statements uh, show a true and fair view, whether the books of accounts are okay and whether there's no issue as such. So from a practical perspective, why it's very important uh, statutory audit and why it's a good option to have articleship experience in statutory audit. audit okay. So let's say uh, you've started your articleship and you are going to your office. Now, in the morning, your boss will come to you and say, boss or principal, whatever. He'll say that you have to go on the audit of this particular client. So the very first thing that happens in audit is you get to travel to client place. Okay. Uh, there are big companies. There are medium-sized companies. There are listed companies. 
so wherever the office is located you get to travel to that particular office now once you go to that office you are supposed to audit the books of accounts of that company so you will be working closely with the finance department of that company the chartered accountants of that company the accounts department of that company and get the understanding of the business what they are doing how they are doing how the revenue is being recorded not only revenue each and every uh, entry material entry cash inventory manufacturing if it's a manufacturing concern you get to visit the plants of those companies now let's say for example uh, uh, let's pick up any da daily brand if it's a chocolate brand let's say cadbury's okay so you will be actually going to the plant of cadbury if it's a fmcg company soap or uh, oil or whatever it is you will be actually going to the plant you will see how the raw material comes in how it is being processed how the goods are manufactured so statutory audit is the single field in article ship which can give you such a rich and immense experience which cannot be compared with any other field you get to travel a lot you get to go to a lot of new places you go to different companies different sectors and get to network with a lot of people and as prajesh rightly pointed out you develop a holistic view what do you mean by holistic view now if a person is doing article ship only in taxation or is doing only taxation what will he be thinking he will be thinking about the tax laws and try to give out the best possible tax solution okay now in statutory audit you are auditing the numbers you are auditing the financial statements financial statements covers each and every aspect of the business because whatever happens in the business is ultimately getting captured in the financial statements tum kuch bhi kar lo pure saal mein balance sheet pnl mein capture hoga hi profit loss investment manufacturing whatever you do so the auditor is supposed to have an understanding of each and every field tax laws mein there is an amendment tax gst mein there is an amendment whatever new things are coming in how it is impacting your client how it is impacting your company now it is very common that you are sitting and doing your normal audit you are doing some vouching or revenue ka testing the client will come up to you and say ki boss kal wo circular aaya finance ministry ka what are your views on it so you are expected to know and have an answer you can't say ki are main to auditor hu main tax nahi dekhta hu that is not an answer so you would automatically be on your toes technically updated you will be the go to guy for whatever happens so the way you develop yourself through your through a statutory audit experience it is totally different now today you might be doing a uh, audit of a media company of any of the channels uh, whatever tv channels you are seeing your next client might be a hospitality industry it might be taj group of hotels oberoi group of hotels so media mein aapka ek specialization ho gaya you are able to understand how the media industry functions what are the key factors over there next day you are doing some other industry so after doing these two industries the synergy or the uh, collaborated experience that you have is something totally different it is something that cannot be bought with money and uh, no other experience can replace that experience so it is a totally unique experience in its own self and most importantly every person has a different experience okay so that is common across article ship that whatever field you do whichever company you go a person in the same firm same company would two set of people will be having a different experience so that's the beauty of life right everyone has a different experience okay so this is a brief overview that i gave about audit and why it's important from an article ship and experience perspective now you guys put in your questions so this is a total q and a session i have planned for today it's a uh, very impromptu it's not something that i did not write ki i want to touch uh, i did not prepare a speech or anything you uh, ask me questions i will answer hello sir yeah hi what about statutory audit report that auditor have to compile with yeah so what happens is 
so that is the ultimate deliverable right so let's say you are uh going to a shop and you ask for a product right uh let's say for example you go to a shop and you say that i want to buy a mobile phone so you give money and you get the mobile phone in return okay now in our field ours is a service sector so what is the uh, final deliverable so this is called as a deliverable in the ca field or audit field so apne deliver kya kiya so the end result of whatever you are doing you go to the client place you to the audit this that you are having discussions you are doing research what is the end result the end result is the audit report it is the final outcome theek hai so it involves a lot of thought by everyone the partners the higher management uh, so they are ultimately interested in the end result or the end outcome right he what is being written in the audit report and it is very important uh, to have a audit report that reflects what has been done and what has been found so everything depends on the audit report let's say for example if you are issuing a qualified opinion or a disclaimer of opinion tomorrow the banks might be worried the regulators might be worried that hey the auditor has given has not given a, a clean opinion there's there's a disqualification so what has gone wrong uh, should we worry the investors would be worried this has happened in uh, past as well that uh, some auditor has resigned or someone has issued a qualified opinion or disclaimer or, of opinion so all the stakeholders would get worried okay so it plays a very important role okay next question so first of all i want to ask that what type of questions they ask while they are interviewing us correct so there is no single answer to this because there are thousands of forms there are thousands of uh, interviewers so there is no one size fits all but what the interviewer might be looking for you looking in you is a good attitude dekho you are a inter pass out so we do not expect the world from you but a sound attitude followed by good not followed by coupled with coupled with decent technical knowledge in decent technical knowledge what i mean is you should be knowing the basic concepts of auditing the important standards on auditing and as we touched upon ki audit requires a holistic perspective mm-hmm. yeah it it's not uh, it's not like taxation that you have to learn the income tax at 1961 it's not restricted to it so you would be expected to know the recent developments in the economic world as well uh, then recent uh, direct taxation indirect taxation related topics as well see I'm, when i am mentioning these terms i am not saying you should be a subject matter expert on these points but a basic understanding hona chahiye ki kya hai and what are the recent developments so there are also one question sir actually i am from regular college to so, sir okay. jaise mera aaj ab ye paper agar clear ho jata to bahut acha hai agar nahi hota to sir jaise ki main abhi as a officially article ship join nahi kar sakta hu matlab regular college hai to so, officially hmm. form join karwati hai apne सॉरी लास्ट पार्ट मैंने मिस किया आपका आप क्या बोल रहे हो कि अगर क्लियर नहीं होता है तो मैं अभी रेगुलर कॉलेज में हूं है ना और दिसंबर 21 में ग्रुप 2 दियो क्लियर हो जाता है तो भी ठीक पर मैं अभी रेगुलर कॉलेज में हूं तो ऑफिशियली तो स्टार्ट नहीं कर सकता आर्टिकल शिप कर सकते हो ना नहीं नहीं किसने बोला सर रेगुलर कॉलेज कर सकते हैं ना कैसे सर रेगुलर कॉलेज आपका टाइमिंग क्या मॉर्निंग का है कि आफ्टरनून का है सर आफ्टरनून का रहता है और कॉलेज परमिशन भी नहीं दे रहा है अरे आफ्टरनून का है तो पॉसिबल है नहीं सो आई टेल यू यहाँ पे कैसे होता है यहाँ पे नहीं मतलब हर जगह ही होता है कि सुबह की कॉलेज होती है ना तो आईसीआई का एक पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म है वो फिल करना ही होता है सबको तो उसमें यू स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन कि भाई मैं सुबह कॉलेज ये टाइम से ये टाइम जाता हूँ मेरे ऑफिस का ये टाइम से ये टाइम है ठीक है बिकॉज अलॉन्ग विथ सी यू कैन परस्यू वन मोर कोर्स इट इज ऑफिशियली अलाउड तो वो तो कुछ इश्यू है ही नहीं अभी आपका अलग इश्यू इसके लिए आ रहा है क्योंकि आपका दोपहर का कॉलेज है ऑफिस तो दोपहर में ही चलती है उसका सॉल्यूशन आई डोंट थिंक है कुछ क्योंकि एक्चुअली या दैट वाज आल्सो माय प्रॉब्लम या या ऑनलाइन चल सो सो वी आर ऑन सो 
so uh just wanted to uh, ask one more point i just wanted to ask in hr college they are taking articleship interviews as well but i have applied for linkedin also can i go All for right. both am i uh, allowed see so the forms have a very clear policy here i understand that it must be one of the big four only okay usme yeah. what they have a criteria is that your cv will be considered only once so let's say for example you you have applied through linkedin and you have applied through your college as well i i am yeah. telling you uh, 110% that you will be getting shortlisted or interview call through your college more because what happens is once the opening goes in linkedin within a couple of minutes there are hundreds or thousands of applicants theek okay? hai yes and yeah. if you are going through your college's placement cell then the process would be easier you now coming to your question whether you can apply at both the places you can send your cv at both the places but you you will be getting an opportunity to sit for the interview only once they have a system where when they put in your cv in the system it can be put only once you can't put in uh, twice or thrice theek okay. hai okay we can uh, sir we can put it in other branches also like in uh, you can try in see 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 uh, i'll be very clear bhejte jao cv har jagah theek hai it doesn't matter you, all that you have to do is you need to get in just keep on sending and theek uh, hai on article ship uh, job hunt i'll touch upon later on but it's fine you can send it wherever whatever sources you know whoever you know within the network you can send to all the people and uh, say that i want to uh get in over here so tejas is saying well cold emailing work so tejas it can work it's a game of probability you never know when it works but the best possible best way to do it is to go to forward your cv to someone who is already working over there so you know you can keep a track now let's say for example uh if pranjal is working in a particular firm i know pranjal theek hai or i got to know pranjal so if i'm sending my cv to pranjal then i know that pranjal is supposed to send the cv and i can keep checking with pranjal ki bhai hua kya cv dala kya bheja kya kya hua le rahe nahi le rahe so i can keep uh, following up with him so that's that yeah, a couple of questions in the chat box let me see hello Hi, yes, Kashi. First, all the rounds that take place for big four interviews. For yeah, this. sure, sure. So, uh, it's a pretty standard process across the big fours. Uh, first would be, uh, the first filter would be the aptitude test, where there would be basic questions. And I, from what I know, a couple of firms they have fine tuned it and also incorporated some standards on auditing and all the related be questions. But they are very basic. If you're technically sound you should be able to clear the first round so that is the first filter second would always be the hr round where the hr department sits with you over a call uh, no not over a call uh, we have got used to covid so obviously whatever works for them uh, you would be sitting with them and they would be taking your hr round where they will try to understand you as a person how are you as a person the way you talk the way you present a topic your speaking skills how uh, so all your corporate etiquettes and whatever it is whether you should be decent or sound see i am not saying that you should be top notch but you should be decent enough to be able to clear it theek okay. hai then the third would be the technical round in technical round you will be asked all sorts of questions auditing accounting recent amendments and updates then uh, it might include some interpersonal questions as well which would ideally be a part of hr round but the technical interview would also like to take a sense of how this person actually is other than the technical skills so it might happen that uh, you are fumbling somewhere in a couple of technical questions and you don't know few questions but you have a good attitude the way you are talking has impressed the interviewer and he might say that uh, the guy is decent but needs to work upon technically then he might clear you for the next round as well so first is uh, aptitude test second is hr round third is technical round and fourth is final director or partner round in case of article ship i think 80 to 90% cases it is director round partner round is rare so director is a person who is one level below the partner in most of the cases so is this 
almost almost the senior most guy in the firm then finally he will sit with you now in this case see you have already cleared the first level of filter the aptitude test you have cleared the hr round as well okay that as a person you are fit and fine to be selected third is the technical round where they are okay with your technical skills as well now final is the director partner round where the top level person who, who has a lot of experience in audit will sit with you and talk to you now he will talk with you on any of the topics it can be uh, see here the weightage is more on it's kind of 60 40 or 70 30 with the higher weightage given to the interpersonal skills they'll talk to you ekdam casual normal so how is it going this that idhar udhar ka baatein they do and they'll try to get a sense of how the person exactly is what's the way he perceives the work he's supposed to do his attitude and it will also include technical questions so it's a mix the final round and overall if you are able to give out a good picture and able to perform well then finally you will be selected so this is how it goes okay thank you so one more question uh, actually yes. i have listened that there are uh, many uh, articleship opportunities before results and after results Correct. so what is the yes. best time we should apply you you should start applying so uh, i'll tell you how this thing works so the best part is you know today we are having such calls we are having a linkedin telegram whatsapp i started my article ship back in 2016 and we did not have these many resources and uh, me coming from a non ca background i did not know ki itna fast bhi hota hai i thought that uh, after results only you need to get out in the market and start uh, searching for article ship but i was totally wrong i am sure many people in the call right now also would be thinking that let's wait for the results and then we will start applying but that's not the case so i'll tell you how this whole thing works as ishika has asked so many firms conduct pre result placements theek hai how this works is let's say uh, they say that we are hiring theek hai and all your rounds are done and you you would be selected or not selected so before your results you are done with your interview and all the other rounds after your result comes out the hr department will call you and say did you clear or not and send me your marks and then they will do the shortlisting now in most of the big fours this is how it works now think of someone who is getting out in the market after results most of the firms would already be ready with its set of uh, articles the only thing is usme se kafi log fail hue rahe and they would not be joining the firm so usme se jitni seats bachti hai and jo normal vacancy hai that would be going to the students who are uh, going out in the market after the results so it is the best to start applying before results to not wait for results theek hai so keep your cv ready start brushing up obviously after you have totally recovered from the exams this goes without saying फ्रेश हो जाओ जितना होना है आराम कर लो चिल मार लो घूम के आ जाओ उसके बाद यू कैन गेट स्टार्टेड विद आर्टिकल शिप हार्ट ठीक है हेलो सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन यस आब्रा एक्चुअली देयर आर क्वाइट मेनी थॉट प्रोसेसेस इन द मार्केट दैट वी सी अराउंड लाइक मेनी पीपल से दैट इट्स बेटर टू जॉइन अ मिड साइज फार्म सो दैट यू गेट एक्सपर्टाइज इन ऑल ऑफ द डोमेन्स सो व्हाट इज योर पर्सनल टेक ऑन दिस यस सो दिस इज अ really good question that has been put up by you i'll tell you there is no uh, black and white answer to this there is no yes there is no no i will tell you how you are supposed to approach this question theek hai you need to ask yourself what is your end goal theek hai if you are very sure that you need that you intend to do job theek hai you intend to uh, keep a keep a professional life as a salaried person in the long run so this narrows down you to specialization because let's say for example i in my article just an example i in my article ship days i would be clear that i want to be a salaried professional 
so now the question comes in is what do i do and in which field do i enter so then i would say to myself that i would try a audit okay statutory audit or i might enter taxation once i get over there then i would be getting a better opportunity within the big fours as compared to someone who has done article ship from a mid size firm or a small size firm the advantage advantage is limited i won't say that there's a huge difference with, between a person who has done article ship from these two firms but the big four article would always have an added advantage even after qualification when he goes out in the market he would be getting better opportunities okay now i will make a case for mid size firms why mid size firms if you are a person who is very clear that in the 3 years i want to explore all the opportunities i want to learn each and everything ka thoda 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 and then i will decide once i clear then a mid size firm which offers you all the opportunities is something you should go for because now what i have seen is that a lot of mid size firms have uh, you know stopped giving you multi field exposure so within your interview you should make it very clear that boss i want to learn everything i'll do tax i'll do audit i'll do tax i'll do everything so that's where you should go secondly if you intend that i have to enter into practice if you're damn sure i don't want to do job i don't want to do industry i will set up my own practice once i clear then without a doubt you have to go for a small or mid sized firm because the things you will learn over there the way things uh, happen how to do so it's a must do theek hai okay abra i think uh, this covers or you want me to touch upon more no sure sir it was really quite helpful thank you sir okay thank you sir suppose sir, if after one year sir. yes uda yeah. yes suppose if after one year we have to shift from statutory audit to taxation then uh, in big four do they give the option to transfer no this won't happen you can take it you can nahi you can you can take it from me uh, stat audit to taxation to nahi hoga in big four no yes so we have to stick to one only yes but see i'll tell you uh, if you realize during your article ship that it's not meant for you it's not the end of the world see even after clearing ca the first Two to three years, everyone is experimenting, doing different roles. So, take it easy. Try for a good firm and good learning experience. So, no need to worry. Hi. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, Ishika. Yes, Ritika. Sorry. Uh, so you said that we can apply for article ship before the result. So. Correct. Uh, we have this training OTIT, so we have to finish this training, and only then we are eligible for article ship. Right? Correct. So I have not finished my training, so I can like I'll finish it by the result date. So can we up- start applying now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Ritika, that's what we are talking about. See, article ship will obviously start after your results. The, yeah. What you need to do is you need to get out in the market and get selected. That's how okay. things are working. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. And so I have another nice. question. Uh, so when they ask like the questions, sometimes they ask questions uh, which is not in our portion, like in days. It is in final level. So what yeah. do we answer like at that time? If they uh, ask. But see, I don't think they would ask you in the first place. And if at all they do, you yeah. can start. You can start with a disclaimer saying, "Uh, this is not something I have studied or not in my curricular." but yeah. this is what i know about it and okay. i would like to learn more about it so that shows a good attitude with an with a limited knowledge okay that's okay. how you need to answer it okay okay thank you yeah thanks yes sir so one more doubt uh, yes. in audit uh, in we- in many webinars that i have seen uh, in many uh, on many channels on youtube and even on vision c uh, youtube channel as well i have seen uh, many times that audit is connected with many fields like statutory uh, forensic audit and many other fields so how could how could we connect uh, statutory audit with other fields so that is it uh, statutory audit the major field or it is separate from other fields of audit like tax audit or forensic audit or internal audit 
रियली गुड क्वेश्चन अप्रीशियट एज ऑलवेज ठीक है तो देखो इसी का कैसा है स्टेचुटरी ऑडिट इज अ स्टैंड ऑन फील्ड इन इट सेल्फ ठीक है Each and every company by default has to get statutory audit done. Okay. Now, what happens is, if you are doing statutory audit of a company, there are very high chances that you will do the tax audit of the same company. Okay. So, they are not related, but you will get to do that as well if you get to do the statutory audit in most of the cases. Okay. Ah, uh, we touched upon statutory audit, tax audit. Now, coming to forensic audit. now not each and every company needs to get a forensic audit done unless something actually happens theek hai fraud hua hai uske baad hi they go so these are totally unrelated fields the word audit is there in both of them but dono ka purpose dono service puri alag hai so it is not related as such uh aur dusri kaun si audit aapne batayi uh, ishika internal audit theek hai internal audit more or less every company conducts again it is totally unrelated with statutory audit and jiska statutory audit aap karte ho uska internal audit aap nahi karoge so that's how it works so if you want to do internal audit and statutory audit there are two possibilities either your firm has dono ke client and you are working on both the departments or you are doing statutory audit of one client and internal of another that's how it would happen but it would it's a totally different field ठीक है यस परफेक्टली पॉइंटेड आउट बाय माजा जी राइट ठीक है इशिका दैट हेल्प्स थैंक्स फॉर क्लियरिंग द पर्सपेक्टिव हेलो सर सर जैसे जैसे आपने कहा था कि स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिटर को ट्रैवल करने मिलता है या फिर क्लाइंट्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करने मिलता है तो वैसे ही इंटरनल ऑडिट का कैसा वर्क एक्सपीरियंस है सेम 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 इट्स द सेम एक्सपोजर वाइज इट्स द सेम बट पीपल प्रेफर स्टैट ऑडिट मोर बिकॉज़ the difference i would say uh, i'll explain the difference theek uh, hai you guys must have uh, studied ki kaise hai what is the difference so table aapne bhi kiya rahega internal external appointed by this appointed by that so main fundamental difference i'll tell you dekho stat audit jo hota hai wo alag hi hota hai pura theek hai stat audit mein you have to do the financials ka pura audit number crunching karni hai abhi internal mein kya hota hai ki management appoints you and it's a very process oriented thing ki ये जो प्रोसेसेस है मेरे पेरोल प्रोसेस हो गया रेवेन्यू प्रोसेस हो गया वेंडर प्रोसेस हो गया आधे टर्म्स तो मैं बोलूंगा आप लोगों को अभी समझ रहा भी नहीं होगा बट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड लेटर ऑन जो डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस है इट्स अ प्रोसेस बेस्ड अप्रोच दे स्टडी द एंटायर फ्लो विद इन द कंपनी ऑफ वेरियस प्रोसेस एंड टेल द मैनेजमेंट दैट वॉज यू आर डूइंग दिस रॉन्ग यू नीड टू इम्प्रूव ऑन दिस प्रोसेस इफ यू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस प्रोसेस और इम्प्रोवाइज इन दिस मैनर देन योर कंपनी कैन सेव दिस मच मनी सो दोनों का अप्रोच अलग है दोनों चीजें अलग है बट जो सेटअप है सेटअप मतलब कैसा कि हाउ यू वर्क इट्स द सेम सेटअप सेम है एज इन यू विल बी गोइंग टू क्लाइंट्स यू विल बी इंटरेक्टिंग विद देम स्टेक होल्डर आर सेम यहाँ भी यू आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट प्राइमरीली उसमें भी इट्स द सेम बट एंड रिजल्ट इज डिफरेंट इन बोथ द केसेस ठीक है सर वॉट अबाउट अपलोड सॉरी workload you are saying hello sab mute pe chale gaye sir hello hello yes it was working okay uh, workload to i think it would be there everywhere i don't see uh, anyone not having workload so that is part and parcel but it's very seasonal actually so when it's audit season and you need to get it done then you need to get it done otherwise there would be a uh, easy days as well where you get to leave early and all so that is uh, going to be there each and everywhere whatever field you take whatever wherever you go but uh, yeah it's it's going to be there you can't rule it out without a doubt it's hard work yeah sir do all sir do all firms get to perform statutory audit or it's only just mid size or big four nahi aisa nahi hota hai so If the day you become a CA and set up a practice, so you can perform statutory audit. अलग कुछ एकदम high level audits में कुछ कुछ norms होते हैं banking audit वगैरह में होती है तो उसमें होता है but a uh, normal everyone performs. Yeah. Sir, what about articles, working paper on the statutory audit? Can you elaborate more? Articles, working paper we have to submit, na sir. किसकी बात कर रहे हो आप वर्किंग पेपर एज इन ये अपना इंस्टीट्यूट में 
आप सी ए बन रहे हो तो इतना समझ लो दिन रात सुबह शाम एम एस एक्सेल आप एक्सेल में किंग बन जाओ आपको जीवन में कोई टच नहीं कर पाएगा ठीक है फिर जो आपकी दूसरी भी स्किल्स है द वे यू टॉक द वे यू कम्युनिकेट टॉक एंड कम्युनिकेट तो वही हो गया बट द वे यू प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ ऑल दीज आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल्स सी ए छोड़ो आपको जीवन में कुछ भी करना है सॉफ्ट स्किल्स इज वॉट विल टेक यू टू द एंड ठीक है टेक्निकल स्किल्स तो रोबोट में भी आती है ठीक है रोबोट को भी टेक्निकल स्किल्स होती है उसमें फीड कर दिया वो तो एकदम एक्यूरेसी के साथ देगा बट जो ह्यूमन बींग होता है उसकी जो स्किल्स होती है सॉफ्ट स्किल्स दैट विल डिटरमाइन हाउ फार यू गो ठीक है वो करना है बाकी के लिए यू कैन डू ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो जो भी फ्री कोर्सेज है वगैरह करके खुद को एनहांस करो बट आपको चाहिए कि नहीं भाई मुझे सर्टिफिकेट ही चाहिए मुझे करना ही है तो दैट इज योर पर्सनल चॉइस बट नो कम्पल्शन नथिंग सो एक्चुअली आई हैव वर्कड इन माय फादर्स कंपनी ऑन टैली एंड इवन ऑन जीएसटी सो इज इट ओके सो आई हैव द बेसिक नॉलेज तो ये आप आपके सीवी में बता सकते हो कि भाई वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस है ये कंपनी में इतना टाइम काम किया है वो सब बता सकते हो वो करो आप ओके सर थैंक यू ठीक है यस और समीक्षा इज रेज्ड अ हैंड यस समीक्षा Hi sir. Yeah hi. Uh, basically, I wanted to ask a question. Uh, I am in. Uh, I just given my C A inter examination, and I've given my third attempt, and uh, I am even preparing for U S C M A. So I want to know uh, whether which uh, department I should be looking in for, and whether I should be uh, aiming for a big four or should be aiming for a mid size firm because I want to even study another course. while doing my ca final as well uh okay so us cma what does it focus upon it's uh, costing focused is it uh no it's more on financial management focused uh actually see i won't comment exactly right now because i need to study this curriculum more in detail before commenting anything but we can connect separately and when it comes to uh, pursuing two courses we have people uh, in big fours who have been able to manage everything but if you think that i want to do it aram se and i want to do it properly then uh, you can opt not to go for a big four but i would strongly recommend that you get into a big four uh, that would enhance your experience overall okay. and us ca may anyway you can pursue even after becoming a ca so my, i i have a very simple message to all of you if you are doing ca and planning to pursue any other course your top priority has to be a ca and at, if at any point you feel that the other course is becoming a deterrent to your ca goal then drop that course you do it after ca it's very clear ca mein aaye hai to ban ke niklenge baki sab duniyadari side mein theek hai next question please uh, so one question actually in big four placements uh, do they prefer college graduates or uh, students who are not pursuing a graduation uh सो इसी का ये ना थोड़ा नॉट स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन हो गया क्योंकि आई आई नो व्हाई यू आर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली क्योंकि आई थिंक पंजाब एंड दिल्ली साइड ऐसा है ना कि काफी लोग ग्रेजुएट होके होने के बाद सीए चालू करते राइट इन बिगनिंग ऑफ द दिस सेशन वन पर्सन आई डोंट एग्जैक्टली नो द नेम पॉइंटेड आउट द क्वेश्चन दैट आफ्टरनून वाला ना उनका No, so okay. I think she is talking about the direct entry one after no, graduation, no. which we start. Oh, uh, we uh, afternoon college wala. So, my also government college hi tha. So, usme college ki bhi problem thi. Actually, mujhse pehle ek ladki ne kiya tha. So, uska bhi uh, both group clear tha. Actually, lekin college ne last moment pe uh, NOC dene pe mana kar diya tha. So, ek okay. saal pehle. Ye... so ye na kafi specific i i would say this is a subjective uh, issue aur aapke college ya aap log se related hai mujhe exact knowledge nahi hai is cheez ka to dekho matlab mera understanding clear hai abhi mumbai mein to kaise chalte hai abhi mai bhi mumbai se hu so hamari subah ko college hoti hai jaate nahi jaate wo dusri baat hai so subah ka college hai and dopahar ka article ship hai and jo form bhi bharate hai na ica ka 
उसमें हम लिटरली टाइमिंग लिखते हैं कि भाई मेरी सात से दस कॉलेज है फिर मैं ग्यारह से सात ऑफिस जाऊंगा तो अगर आपके केस में वो कॉलेज वगैरह का भी इश्यू है तो आई कैन हेल्प यू कनेक्ट विथ पीपल जो सिमिलर कॉलेजेस से कर चुके हैं Uh, actually yeah, i have sorry. dropped the college in second year uh, eventually because as you pointed out ki ca kar rahe ho to ca ban kar hi nikalna hai to agar koi bhi beech mein aa raha hai to jaise graduation hai ki kaam karna mujhe priority nahi hai ca karna hai ishi ka main aapko kya bolta hu apne drop out kar liye to ignu wagera kar do na distance learning wale course karke graduation khatam to kar lo side by side sir i have uh, no idea because no reference i don't know anyone nahi nahi to dekho abhi aapka kaisa hoga na main aapko bolta hu abhi aap enter kar rahe ho theek hai uske baad aapka article chip chalu ho gayi fir aap final ki taiyari karoge to bcom to pura chhut hi jayega aapka to what i suggest to you is aap ya to distance learning le lo ignu wala usme sirf exam deni hoti hai and project submit karne hote to wo route aap le lo to matlab God forbid future में कुछ हो ना हो आपके पास बीकॉम का डिग्री तो हाथ में आ ही जाएगा साइड बाई साइड करते करते इट्स अफ बेट वैसा तो वो एक आप एक्सप्लोर करो थोड़ा ठीक है सो वी है लास्ट फाइव फाइव सिक्स मिनट ठीक है बिफोर यू क्लोज एनी अदर क्वेश्चन है रिकॉर्डिंग 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 चल रही है वील अपलोड इट ऑन यूट्यूब ओके ओके सर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी और यू गाइस कैन डीएम मी और आई विल एड्रेस ओके सो आई कैन मैसेज यू राइट सर यस यस अरे क्या इतना मैसेज कोई भी मैसेज कर सकते हो भाई इतना कुछ मैं बड़ा आदमी नहीं हूँ मेरा नंबर है पूरे दिन मैं स्पैम करता हूँ आप लोग को ग्रुप पे तो आप लोग मुझे भी स्पैम कर सकते हो डिले डिले होगा मैसेज रिप्लाई करने में क्योंकि ऑफिस वगैरह भी चलती है हमारी सब साइड में करते हैं बट आंसर तो कर देंगे ठीक है ओके ओके सर सर मुंबई के फॉर्म्स ग्रुप पे डाल देना ना कौन से वो कर देंगे लिस्ट लिस्ट डाल देंगे ठीक है हां मुंबई के जैसे चतुर्वेदी है क्या बोलते हो ठीक है सर सर वन मोर क्वेश्चन वन मोर क्वेश्चन हां सर एक्चुअली आई हैव लिसंड ऑन सम ऑफ द यूट्यूब वीडियो सेट कि स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिट डिपार्टमेंट में जा रहे हो तो ये स्पेसिफिक बिग फोर बहुत अच्छा है इसके लिए सो डू यू नहीं 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 बिग फोर है बस काफी है वो उतना उसमें भी वो उतना मत करो बिग फोर मिल गया वो बड़ी बात है हस्ते हस्ते ले लो वो चलो एंड आपको ऑफर मिलेगा फिर मुझे बोलना मैं बोलूंगा कौन सी लेनी नहीं लेनी वो बाद में बात करेंगे ठीक है तो कैन यू थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल Training. Industrial training is a totally different a topic. We can touch upon it separately. Today today we'll stick to stat audit only. Sir, uh, sir, yes, can Pratik. you give a, a small gist on how we can approach people on LinkedIn to get uh, articles ship on statutory audit? Yeah. So, uh, firstly, you need to be a connection with that person. Okay, that's a very important thing. अपना connection में add करो उसको. Secondly, your CV should be ready. Thirdly, when you are approaching that person, start with a good message, saying that, "Uh, hello, sir. Uh, please to connect with you on LinkedIn. Looking forward for a, a professional journey or professional relation or something, whatever." And then you can say that I am very much interested in joining Article Ship in your esteemed firm. Attached here, it here with is my CV. Kindly consider it for the same. अभी ये तो basic काम हो गया. Now the real and important work. starts that you need to keep on following up with that For person kyunki bhai din ke 15 se 20 message aate hain usko cv attach kiye hue you need to ensure ki tumhara cv wo dale and uske baad wo select hoga so you need to keep pushing the person and keep following up that the person does not forget because that person has a thousand things to do throughout the day theek hai he would say yes and he might forget due to workload So you need to keep following up, but at a healthy interval, please ensure. Then, me, ten times, usko message karoge, to khatam, wo block kar dega apko, okay? And yeah. please, ah, uh, keep a good tone while talking to that person over message as well. Mujhe personally, aise DM aate hai ki, ah, uh, aise lagta hai ki samne wala mujhe order de raha hai ki, bhai, chal, mera CV laga de, mujhe article chip de de. Arey, tu kahan hai kahan, bhai? Pehle to wo bata mujhe. Mujhe pata hi nahi hai tu kahan hai. तो ऐसा मत रखो कीप अ गुड टोन कीप अ पोलाइट अप्रोच दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक फर्स्ट फर्स्ट मैसेज में अगर हम सीवी सेंड कर देते सो इट्स फाइन प्रोवाइडेड इट्स फॉलो इट हैज अ गुड मैसेज अ गुड इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट या या 
खाली सीवी अटैच करके दे दोगे तो नहीं होगा कुछ सर डू कवर लेटर हैव एन इंपॉर्टेंस नो मुझे पता ही नहीं है कवर लेटर क्या होता है मैं ऑनेस्टली बोलता हूं मुझे अभी तक नहीं समझा है एंड कवर लेटर नो वन यूजेस इट टू बी ऑनेस्ट मतलब मेरे ध्यान में तो नहीं है मतलब इट्स फाइन या सर यस sir like if we are going in a mid size firm so how we will select a good mid size firm it's very specific to the area where you are staying uh, what the specialization of that firm is uske upar depend aap kahan rehte ho sir kolkata kolkata na so kolkata ke liye uh, i'll try to connect you with someone who is based out of kolkata is an article ship over there and then they can guide you ahead i think singhi and company karke ek famous firm hai if i'm not wrong उसका अच्छा नाम है या या उसका अच्छा है बाकी दूसरा भी ठीक है ऐसा नहीं देर इज नो सच नंबर हर फॉर्म का ऊपर डिपेंड होता है की वो फॉर्म के पास कितना काम है किस किस फील्ड का काम है एंड वो फॉर्म का वो डिपार्टमेंट आर्टिकल्स को रखते है कि नहीं तो देर इज नो सेट आंसर बट ओवरव्यू अगर आपको चाहिए तो अपने अपने ग्रुप में जो वो डिपार्टमेंट के नाम आ रहे थे तो मेजोरिटी वो डिपार्टमेंट से बट उसमें भी सब सब में आर्टिकल्स को नहीं लेते ठीक है ओके आई नीड टू क्लोज इन टू हेलो यस यस सर सर इफ समवन हैव डाउट ऑन सीइंग द रिजल्ट शुड शुड ही अप्लाई फॉर प्री प्लेसमेंट ऑफर यस absolutely because if if you are not clearing anyway they won't take you but you need to ensure that you are getting selected okay next question sir yes uh, suppose i joined a particular firm can i leave after one or one and a half year and join another firm for yes. internship yes you can take transfer yes okay sir thank you okay yeah next question sir तो फिर कैसे अप्लाई करेंगे आ, आपका वॉइस ब्रेक हुआ मुझे नहीं सुनाई दिया कुछ एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ यस तो इफ समवन मतलब किसी का कॉलेज में नहीं है प्लेसमेंट का तो फिर कैसे अप्लाई कर सकते हैं हम वी विल वी विल सेंड ओपनिंग्स ऑन आवर ग्रुप्स एंड वी विल हेल्प यू कनेक्ट विद पीपल इफ यू विल से दैट आई एम स्टेइंग इन दिस एरिया एंड आई वांट टू गेट इन अ गुड फॉर्म ओवर देयर सॉरी तो फिर वन मुंबई बोला क्या उन्होंने आपका नहीं आ रहा है आप डाल दो मैसेज मुझे और वील ठीक है ठीक है वील वील हेल्प यू वील हेल्प यू सर इस जरूरी काइंड ऑफ जॉबिकल बैरियर डू बिग फोर कंसीडर वाइल नो नो देखो सर ओ या सर अब जैसे कि अब वो जैसे कि रेगुलर कॉलेज है तो मैं मतलब अनऑफिशियली फिर नहीं ज्वाइन करूं कोई भी फॉर्म कैसे करोगे आपके कॉलेज है दोपहर को आप कहां जाओगे कॉलेज जाओगे कि फॉर्म में जाओगे ऑनलाइन सर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस होती है तो बंक अरे कोविड अब खत्म हो रहा है भाई फरवरी मार्च से चालू होगा तुम्हारा कॉलेज देख लो तुम यहां तो चालू हो गई है नहीं सर नहीं होना ना यहां पे इसलिए पता है सर किसने बोला किसने बोला कल सर कोई पता है क्या ऑलरेडी बता रहे हैं मत करो ऐसा देख लो तुम भी पूछ लो किसी को बट ऐसा कुछ मत करो ठीक है ठीक है सर ओके ऑल राइट देन आई थिंक दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे इट वॉज अ हेल्दी डिस्कशन ऑन स्टेचुटरी ऑडिट विल टच अपॉन अदर फील्ड एज वेल डायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन सबका एक एक सेशन रखे गए With me, I have Raj Shrimankar as well, my friend and co-founder of Vision CS. Hello. Many of you might have interacted with him as well. So these are the minds behind Vision CS and whatever we do. Ah, uh, mentors, have you taken? Yes, sir. We have already assigned. But I have a complaint. Are you mentors? Students say that group mentor message is not sent. No reply. 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 No Good sir, thank you Thanks, so much guys. for sparing your time. Thank you so much. Sir. No. Thank you so thank much. You Always sir. a pleasure. Thank you so much, Prithvi sir. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you so guys. Much. Thank you. Have a nice day, Prithvi sir. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks Enjoy. a lot, sir. Yeah, thank happy you, new year sir. in advance. Yeah. Same to you. Happy new year. All the best, everyone.
थैंक यू